Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York, got bored the other day waiting for his dealer to arrive, so he tried to cancel the tribute to 9 11 because coronavirus. People noticed they were outraged canceling the 9 11 memorial, so he reversed course. But Bill de Blasio is still a big fan of shutting down things that people enjoy, and particularly traditions that have been around for a long time. He hates the past. So he's trying again. De Blasio announced today that the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade won't really be a parade this year. There won't even be a live procession. But de Blasio is apparently too high to realize that people might not like this. Watch de Blasio enthusiastically sell the new format for the Thanksgiving Parade. It will not be the same parade we're used to. It will be a different kind of event. They're reinventing the event for this moment in history, and you will be able to feel the spirit and the joy of that day on television, online. Not a live parade, but something that will really give us that warmth and that great feeling we have on Thanksgiving Day. They're reinventing this event for this moment in history. We're thinking Indica, not Sativa. He seems kind of subdued. Meanwhile, New York is reinventing its crime statistics for this moment in history. Hundreds of corporations based in New York, are pleading with the mayor to crack down on crime and save the city, improve quality of life, care about the people who actually live there and pay for all of this nonsense. Is he responding in any way? Seth Barron lives in New York. He's associate editor at City Journal. He joins us tonight. Seth, thanks so much for coming on. So people have confronted, sure, stakeholders, as I think they're called, in the city have confronted de Blasio about yeah. this. What have they said and what's his response been? Well, they're just begging him to take leadership and seize the moment and try to fix the city. But as you see, he kind of has these feckless responses. I mean, the Macy's Day Parade is a good example. Uh, you know, this is an extremely popular national event. People tune in. And it signals, you know, if we were to have it, it would signal, hey, New York City wants tourists. Maybe we can't have everyone now, but, you know, we're open for business. This is what the future holds. Uh, de Blasio, anything that's like cheerful and wholesome that normal people like, he frowns on. He wants to squash because, you know, people like that will, will obey the law. Meanwhile, in Washington Square Park, every weekend, Refuse Fascism, which is part of the Revolutionary Communists, has a protest party with a DJ and hundreds of people drinking, doing drugs, dancing. De Blasio doesn't even notice yeah. it. So he implicitly, tacitly is permitting it. Yeah, drag queen story hour for third graders still in progress, of course, needless to say. Has de Blasio ever built anything or does he only destroy? I'm just asking because he is symbolic of the left, very good at wrecking things that other people built, very bad at building anything. Has he built anything, anything? Um, that's a good question. Uh, he had a plan to extend the, uh, the shoreline of Manhattan into the East River. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, no, I can't really say that he's built very much. You know, he's poured public money into rehabbing uh, some apartments. Uh, but I couldn't say that he's big on building things. He's more on, big on redistribution. That's, that's what he yeah. sees as his, his metier, is taking what other people have and giving it to, to others. Yeah, uh, with him in control. Right, exactly. It's the opposite of charity, forcing other people to give. It's not charity. Right. Seth Barron. A keen observer of New York City. Good luck there. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.